today we've gathered together to celebrate with Emily and Bill. You have traveled many mountains for this moment. And the fact that you have traveled such a great distance to be here today is a testament of the amazing amount of love you have for them. In life, we waited for years until we found that special one, that person that completes our life, that person that takes your breath away by simple love sight. But today, the journey of life has ended for Ebony and Bill, because now they're standing in front of each other. Today, Ebony and Bill have chosen to walk through life together, hand to hand in marriage. There's no better statement of true love than marrying your partner. Ebony and Bill, now you're starting the journey together. It may not be easy, perhaps, but it's important that you think twice or more when facing the rocks while walking the marriage life. Have the faith to be able to seek for the older advice when you think that life is in your respect. Because marriage is more than just love. Marriage is respect. Marriage is patience. Marriage is tenderness. Marriage is dedication. Marriage is commitment. All together will make the relationship work. You must remember that real love is something beyond the excitement of the romance and falling in love. It is caring as much about the welfare and happiness of your beloved one than about your own. The love between the married people must be sincere. And the married people must be and must live in harmony to have a long lasting marriage. Marriage is the moral way to establish a family. Women. The man whose main gifts a courage and strength should give and will give protection to the woman, treating her always like the most delicate, sensitive, and finest spiral himself with the generosity that the man owes to the woman. The woman whose main gifts are insight, love, beauty, tenderness. She'll give and will give assistance, consolation, and advice to the man treating him always like the person who sends me. Each one should have respect, fidelity for each other, confidence and tenderness. Both should never do anything that we can do. Both should use their wisdom to lessen any faults and never insult the other because insults between the marriage people dishonors the union. Both should cherish and honor this union as the last thing both really not so race in the eyes of men. In what is considered the most important component of the society, the family. It is now the time that Bill wants to share something with you. Ebony, I was once told by a man far wiser than myself that if you ever find a beautiful woman who loves you, can make you laugh, and likes sports, even if she's a Cardinals fan, marry her. Well, that's what I'm doing today. I love you more than anything in the world. You make me happier than I ever thought I could be. Ebony, you're my rock. I trust you more than myself. And I'm just going to have to get used to being uh, wrong in every argument. I feel like together we can do anything. Ebony, I will be there for you for the rest of our lives, no matter what. I can't think of anyone I'd rather go old with together. I love you. I can't believe this day has finally come. I was never the girl that dreamed about her wedding or her husband, and all along I never knew that I've been waiting for you. Since our first date, I have not wanted to leave your side. You're just my favorite person. You make me laugh to tears almost every day. You know how to make me smile even when I don't want to. You make me love you even when I hate you. <laughs> we talk often about what a great team we are, but I want to tell you today, in front of our friends, our family, we make the best team, and we're the best team. You always have my back. With you, we can do anything. I hope to one day have your confidence and strength. Thank you for being so sweet and loyal. Thank you for believing me and pushing me to be stronger and better. Our ability to work through the hard times so far gives me the confidence that we'll be just fine. You always continue to amaze me. Your support and friendship are what keeps me going. I promise from this day forth to honor and cherish you and never let you forget that I am by your side. And I am so excited to call you my husband. After sharing these beautiful vows, 
It is now the time for me to ask Bill, do you take Avani to be your lovely wedded wife, to love her and respect her each day of your life through good times and bad, and sickness and health? I do. Avani, do you take Bill to be your lovely wedded husband, to love him and respect him each day of your life through good times and bad, and sickness and health? I do. It is now the time for me to call Eric and Cindy, who took very good care of their rings until this moment, to present them. Cindy. Oh. <laughs> Can you hold me? It's okay. <laughs> Can you just hold the rings for a minute here in the middle? Yeah. Break <laughs> drop <laughs> These rings are the symbol of the broken circle of love. They, these rings don't have an end. They don't have a beginning. They are also a symbol of the sun and the air the universe of wholeness, affection, and peace. These rings mark a long journey together. Wear them proudly. They're also symbols of the love that you're declaring today for each other. See this ring as proof of my love, respect, and fidelity that I will have for the rest of my life. I receive this ring with love. I'm aware of that. From now on, we're becoming one. I shall walk through the path of life together, always as a couple always one next to the other, and never leaving one behind. Be devoted one to the other, and may you love your friend, and be a long past marriage. We're going to proceed to sign your certificate. set of friends, a different set of ideas, a different set of families, and they're going to be put into this their container, which represents not an individual, but as a, a family. This their container, I'm going to invite you to put these grains of sand together into the their container, which is going to be representing your family, and you do that please. As the grains of sand are going to be mixing, they can no longer be separated. That's how you have to look to your marriage. You can never be separated. That's the experience of thunder. You're going to take back home to remind you the love that you're declaring and the lives that you're sharing today. After signing your certificate, exchanging your beautiful vows, exchanging your rings with all your friends and family that wish to come today, and with this ocean and sun that you have chosen to be good witness today, I'm happy to declare you, husband and wife, united in matrimony. Congratulations for next year's Yay! Yay! Oh! And for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Preston. 